Welcome to Evening Prayer. This is what we have heard from him and the message we are announcing to you. God is light. There is no darkness in him at all. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Worship the Lord, all praise to his name. So we pause in the quietness and reflect on the day that we have journeyed through. this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray to the Lord. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be glory and praise for ever. As darkness falls, you renew your purpose to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, drive out all darkness from our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, for ever and ever. Amen. Reading from Matthew chapter 9 and verses 1 to 9. And after getting into a boat, he crossed the sea and came to his own town. And just then some people were carrying a paralysed man lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. Then some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, perceiving their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, stand up and walk but so that you may know that the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins he then said to the paralytic stand up take your bed and go to your home and he stood up and went to his home when the crowd saw it they were filled with awe and they glorified god who had given such authority to human beings as Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth and he said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. Very often in the Gospels, things are immediate. Jesus is walking along, sees Matthew and says, follow me. And he got up and followed him. We don't see any further conversation or any hesitancy on Matthew's part. Simply the response. Maybe it's because we don't need to know anymore. Maybe it's because it was as immediate as that. Jesus offering the invitation and the invitation being accepted. How immediately do we follow when Jesus calls our name and asks us to follow him?
reconciled to himself all things in Jesus Christ. We pray for peace among the nations, that God may rid the world of violence and let peoples grow in justice and harmony. We pray for those who serve in public office, that they may work for the common good. We pray for Christian people everywhere, that we may joyfully proclaim and live our faith in Jesus Christ. We pray for those who suffer from hunger, sickness or loneliness, that the presence of Christ may bring them health and wholeness. So let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray, to the mercy and protection of God. Eternal God, source of all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works, Give your servants the peace which the world cannot give, that we may willingly obey your commandments, and that free from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of the night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So oh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>